Uh, so we obviously wanted to expand on this. And uh, in GCT, there are right now seven game modes, I think. Yeah, something around that. Six, seven is uh, single player mode. We plan to do later. Uh, but anyway, um, uh, I can also mention uh, the Quake titles, all the Quake series from ID Software. Uh, I really enjoy playing Quake, and it's, uh, I think it's a masterpiece of game <laughs> programming when it, when it was released. It was something great, and, and I do enjoy reading the code, which is open source right now. And mm-hmm. it, 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 it really has some influence in the way we, uh, we, we see computer games, right? So, so I don't know something. Hello, Wojtek. Yeah. Um, the other question I was going to ask you, obviously being being developers, you are, are trying to target as many markets as you can, I assume, with your title. But how do you see gaming in a couple of years' time? Do you still think the Linux or the, the PC desktop will still be relevant or whether we'll be on different form factors and tablets or a, a hybrid tablet type device maybe? Um, how do you see the future of gaming? Or, or indeed consoles? They actually... Uh, uh, a good good bit of funding now for a project that uses uh, Android 4.2, uh, Jello Beans, I think it is, uh, and that's going to run. Basically, it's going to be a console running Android and being capable of running the Android games on your television. So that's another combination of consoles and you know tablets and everything going into your TV. So, is this so, so um, Bartek or? Uh... Either one of you. How do you see the future of um, of gaming in in a few years' time? Do you still see it um, being on the desktop and on the traditional desktop PC, or do you see us uh, moving elsewhere for gaming? Obviously, onto the consoles, onto the phones, uh, tablet form factors, that type of thing. Well, the uh, the, mo- the whole uh, mobile uh, industry is uh, is growing very fast, right? Uh, so obviously. We- we will see more and more uh, tablet games, uh, phone games, uh, which is actually pretty cool uh, because it is uh, it is definitely much easier to make today to make a game uh, uh, and target this platform because uh, uh, it's easier, right? It's easier to make a, a, a good uh, a, a good uh, game. Uh, there are a lot of solutions, right, so, uh, for uh, ready to use uh, en- game engines like Unity 3D or, or others. Uh, there is actually uh, an Android development kit that's uh, being released by, uh, I think, by NVIDIA for the Tegra yeah. chips, and, and now you've got OpenGL running on practically every tab. Yeah, well, most exactly. Tablets anyway, so. Yes, OpenGL dominated mobile platforms. Yeah, which is... Fortunate and unfortunate <laughs> uh, to some point, but uh, but yeah. So um, uh, it's really good that the mobile industry is, is is growing. But I'm I'm pretty much sure that it won't uh, uh, substitute the the desktop uh, market. Uh, well, first of all, desktops will always I think they will always be uh, the most powerful units, right? Mm-hmm. So. And there will always be uh, companies that will want to uh, show off the uh, the best uh, graphical uh, advancements uh, in, in technology or uh, in physics. Uh, like for instance, you can uh, just take a Crisis uh, series, uh, for instance, or uh, games made with Unreal Engine. Right? These are games that uh, that aim at the uh, uh, the best technology. The, the best, uh, the, be- the best uh, machines, and only desktop computers will uh, will be uh, 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 will ha- will handle uh, the yes. requirements. Ev- everything we have uh, now uh, is uh, we can be sure that desktops are cutting edge uh, yeah. performance, right? So uh, me, basically, I I dream of uh, a completely new uh, platform, right, which would uh, be designed for desktop computers, something like PC, but completely uh, with no backward compatibility, which would allow, uh, the, which will 
uh, give the most high performance from the hardware we can achieve. That's my dream, <laughs> to, to see a completely new uh, platform that will give them much as much power as we can get from the hardware because well, uh, holding backwards compatibility really yeah. uh, drives us crazy sometimes, <laughs> right? It well, it's good for the developers in some ways because if you develop a game, let's say for a PlayStation 3, you'd like to know what it's going to be available in future version of the PS3 or PS4. And so you couldn't get developers to invest a lot of money in a platform that's going to be transient or disappear like the Zune or a Keen or any of those Windows Mobile platforms. You know, all of them disappear very fast. So nobody really wants to put like, you know, a million dollars in investment yeah, to, to develop something really new for solution, I think. But, but anyway... Uh, okay. Well, the, the, other, the other question, um, and, and obviously, like I said, I've, um, I followed the project in that I uh, reviewed the uh, the early versions um, about a year or so ago. But I'm very interested to know uh, the business model that you propose for your game, and how you're going to market it, and how you're going to presumably generate revenue from it. We hear a lot about uh, indie development, and often we see a lot of open source projects. Sometimes we see uh, people making a uh, making a product that's, for example, like Minecraft, which was horrendously popular, and I think uh, <laughs> certainly very popular for the, uh, for the developer there. Um, so, so what do you intend doing with um, Greedy Car Thieves uh, when it gets to the stage where it's finished, dare I say it? Um, right. Well, well, what we what we do now is we focus on uh, development. We, we 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 thought of course about uh, different ways of distributing or selling or getting some revenue, uh, but we still haven't decided uh, what 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 plan we will use. We have some concepts. So we think about uh, what, what we think about. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> we think about I don't know. So just selling the game. Well, we have contacted uh, some uh, some uh, digital distribut- distributors, right? Like Steam, for instance. But actually, uh, they were not uh, so far interested in in distributing uh, our game. Uh, so we it's not finished. I think. I think it, it, it yeah. will be fully finished. They will laugh us. <laughs> it's already cross-platform, which might be of quite appeal to them because they're working on trying to port yes. all the stuff to Linux now, saying that Windows 8 is basically, the, to, to quote the CEO, he says it's a disaster for whatever mm-hmm. reasons. And he's got his list of reasons, so maybe actually having something that's already cross, cross-platform. Yes, we also target a uh, Humble Bundle project. It's also oh, very in- interesting, interesting project uh, solution, right? They mm-hmm. sell bundles of games that work on Linux, on Windows, on Mac, so that's yeah. all we have. So. Well, I, I was going to actually bring that up because I remember when I was playing the very early versions, even though it was not a very early stage, the the level of the quality of the program itself, the game, was uh, was very good and you could very nice easily see... That. <laughs> well, you could very easily see it in the humble indie bundle, a bundle with a, a couple of other titles. Um, I haven't come across how much... Uh, Revenue or how this how it works for the uh, developers when uh, when the payment is made, uh, but certainly it did seem to fit in very nicely with that with that type of game. Um, and I, I will be trying this again uh, very very shortly because it's uh, it, it's been one of many projects which uh, I've been following. So uh, yeah, with a bit of luck, you'll be able to uh, come up with an idea that will uh, will suit you and suit the uh, the gamers as well because it is a fantastic title. I said so at the time. Um, the other question I'd like to put to you, and it's one that I would ask anybody who develops software, and especially in the case where there may be uh, there may be a financial reward at the end of it, if you're intending to sell a sell a piece of software, would be your take on the piracy debate and um, what you think of file sharing. I'm not going to hold you to any sort of comment. I'm not here to to challenge what uh, what your opinions are, but many developers have mixed views on on the piracy subjects. And whether it actually harms or helps um, the publicity of a, of a of a title, there is a lot. A lot of people say it's a very good advertising medium, uh, and other people say it's losing them revenue. And it's just very interesting to hear different developers' takes on that uh, particular issue. I don't know either one of you want to make a remark on on piracy. 
Well, I don't know. I'm I'm basically open source person. I I do work on open open source tools. Mm-hmm. I I do enjoy it. Um, so I I I think that the more people